I'm here to drive this new Hyundai i20 Cross Sport. It's the newest model in the fast-growing subcompact crossover segment. And Real Steve is the first to put this on air. Let's see how it goes. I'm driving the 2015 Hyundai i20 Cross Sport. This car is so new, it might as well be called the 2016 because they don't even have a price for this car yet as I drive this. The car had a media launch a few weeks back but it's not yet officially available in the market. I'm getting quite a few head turns. People see it's a new Hyundai, it's a new car. They seem to like this brown color, cashmere brown, that's what they call it. This car has a 1.4 liter CRDI engine, that's a diesel. It has just under 100 horsepower but over 225 newton meters of torque. That's a lot of torque for a 1.4 liter engine. It gives this car very strong acceleration. You'd feel it when you're in top gear, let's say fourth gear, and you need to overtake a lot of cars, you need to drop down third. But this car, you just put down the throttle and it goes. Earlier, I got to drive the 1.4 liter petrol engine of this car, the a blue i20. That car was pretty smooth also. Pretty much the same amount of horsepower but uh, a lot less torque. What I can say about both engines are they are both very smooth, very quiet. I could hardly hear the, the diesel from, from inside this cabin. And of course, the diesel would always win in any fuel economy race between the two. The blue i20 I drove earlier had a traditional automatic. So if you want fuel economy, obviously you get a diesel. If you want the comfort and convenience of an automatic, then you have to go for the petrol engine. That's not to say that the 1.4 liter petrol engine is a gas guzzler, far from it. It's still a fuel economy car. It's a very fuel efficient engine. In fact, going to Nuvali, I averaged around 11-12 kilometers per liter on that long fast stretch going to Nuvali. In city driving, the petrol i20 was doing about 8 kilometers per liter, which is still excellent. This diesel i20, however, is even doing better. According to the trip meter, we're doing a very impressive 11 kilometers per liter in mostly second year and third year driving. I still remember the time when diesel engines were had high vibration, were noisy, smoky, but this one is really leaks apart. You could hear the diesel sound from outside the car, but from inside the car, even without the radio on, you could barely hear it. The i20, strictly speaking, is a crossover. You could tell a crossover from a normal hatchback by its higher ground clearance, taller tires. Let's not forget the roof rails to give it that little bit of utility vehicle look, say the SUV look. A lot of them are actually just front wheel drive. I also like the styling of the i20. It has that right balance of perkiness without making it look like a toy. I can see from the impression of the people who see this car that they're, well, at least they're interested with the car. They look impressed, actually. Another thing I like about the i20 is 
for the diesel, it comes with a six-speed manual transmission. That's class leading. Not a lot of cars still offer six speeds in a stick shift. That gives this car even better fuel economy. And if you think that having a manual transmission is like being in a penalty box, not so for this car. The gear shift is so light, it almost takes just a pinky to push it into the next gear. The clutch pedal is also very light, so it's not the kind of manual that you would dread driving in heavy traffic. Of course, still won't compare with a full automatic, but it's very, very easy to shift. Well, that's our take on Hyundai's new i20 Cross Sport. We hope you enjoyed the ride as much as I did. We expect to see a lot of these cars on the road very soon. This is Manny De Los Reyes from Wheels TV. Maraming maraming salamat guys. Thank you for watching your guide to life in the fast lane. Our first episode of season two. Thank you very much for making this possible, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode featuring the all-new Ford Mustang. I hope you guys saw how high-tech, how cool the Ford Mustang is nowadays and sports and luxury all into one, the Ford Mustang. For our next episode of Wheels TV, especially our second episode next week, I personally invited a special guest. He's a really, really cool guy. He's a celebrity guy that's making waves internationally. And hopefully, he's going to be our first Formula One driver from the Philippines. Abangan niyo po yan next week, only here on Wheels TV. And if you missed previous episodes or if you have comments, suggestions for our future episodes, please log on to facebook.com slash TV. Thank you very much. This has been Mateo Guidicelli for Wheels TV. Have a great day.